You hear the music. It's Wednesday, which means it's time for KTK Gives Back. They save homes and lives. That's exactly why today we are recognizing our East Texas firefighters. KTK Today anchor Isaac Ramirez joins us live from Troop. Good morning, Isaac. Hey, good morning, Cynthia. You're right. We are recognizing our first responders today. We're bringing them a free lunch. This is all courtesy of Peter Chevrolet, and we are in a tiger country. We're in the city of Troop, and let's go ahead and meet the Troop Fire Department, which is they're right behind me. How are you guys doing today? Doing great. Right. Doing great. And this is Battalion Chief Nix here with us this morning. We're standing in front of a big old bulldozer. What's Correct. the bulldozer for? It is, we use it for wildland firefighting. And what we do is if apparatus cannot reach the fire, the departments will call, and we have three of them inside the county, but this one especially, they'll call this one. And, uh, and what we do is we, we use it to break I guess we'll just cut the fuel off from the fire. And yeah, you were telling me too, like sometimes, you know, if the trucks can't get to a certain mm -hmm. area, you guys can take this big boy out there right. and clear up a path for it. We can. A lot of times with our operators, we can use the plow that's on the back, and you can see it, and we can also use the blade. A lot of the firemen and operators, they prefer the blade to make it wider. And I know y'all aren't getting a lot of use out of it right now, but during the summer, mm -hmm. I know this thing's probably going all over all the county. Is within it? the county, it gets used periodically and very routinely. Yikes. Let's talk about the guys here that are sitting next mm -hmm. to you. How is it like to work with all of them here at the Troop Volunteer oh, Fire Department? As you can tell beforehand, we're all a brotherhood and we all love each other and we're, we spend most of our time. We, as a matter of fact, we spend more time with each other than pretty much we do our own families. So in a way, they're your, they're a family they're for you as family. well. Yeah, they're like brothers. And speaking of family, something unfortunate that happened in Lubbock, we saw two first responders mm -hmm. uh, die. You know, they were working in a scene of an accident and got run over. Mm -hmm. How important is it for people people to slow down when you guys are out on the scene of an accident. Well, we, we all want to go home. I mean, in the first 11 days of uh, the year, we, we lost six firefighters and or six individuals, first responders, six first, first responders, first responders on the side of the roadway. And I know it was uh, three tow operators, mm -hmm. a firefighter, a paramedic mm -hmm. and a police officer. Guys, it's only been 15 days into the year mm -hmm. and already we've lost all these first responders mm -hmm. in Texas because people won't slow down. Right. Right, and the, the best thing to do is anytime you see any kind of warning lights, flashing lights, is just vacate the lane closest to the flashing lights. Go the next lane over and slow down. And slow down right now, especially with these roads, how wet they are. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be, you know, caught in an accident right. as well. And give some space in between you and the person in front of you as well. Thank you very much, and thank you guys for everything that you guys do. That's why today we brought y'all some sandwiches, some cookies, some tea, just to show some gratitude towards you guys for everything that you guys do. This is all made possible by Peter's Chevrolet, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram, and Fiat. A big thank you to Peter's for allowing us to each and every week recognize a different group of first responders. Last week, Peter's made a $5,000 donation to the ARP Police Department, and they're planning on making another $5,000 donation soon. Can't wait to figure out who it's going to be. Cynthia, back to you. Thank you very much, Isaac.